Hey everybody, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. I'm Troy Brenning Meyer. Well, in this week's lesson, we're back to the Dobro in open G tuning. So GBD, GBD tuning from your lowest to your highest string. And we're learning an original song that I wrote called Empty Spaces. It's a fun one to play. It has some of this uh, muting that I'm going to talk about in just a second with your right hand. where You're just a little bit in front of the bridge so you can mute out that, that low six string. I'll show you in just a second. So only two pages of tablature for this one. So go ahead and print that out and set it on a stand in front of you. And let's get going learning my song Empty Spaces for Dobro in Open G Tuning. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about this muting technique that I'm doing. I'll go ahead and play it a little bit and show you what it sounds like. You're basically muting out that six string just enough. Uh, this is the uh, your, your cover plate, right? That's going right over the bridge. Really, you just have to put your the heel of your hand just a little bit in front of that. Here it is, wide open. And as I slowly move, my hand right over this cover plate, right onto the sixth string, just the heel of my hand there, you hear it mute out. Now if you go too much, it mutes it out too much. So you kind of got to just find just the right place and then just curl your fingers up when you find that sweet spot. Right, otherwise it's, it's wide open, it would sound like this with no muting. really plays a big part of the sound of this song and it kind of adds a, a nice little chunky rhythm to it too. So I'll include the the jam track which is basically me playing I think I played bass and cajon and shaker parts just a just a light little um, jam track that I made uh, recording the instruments myself on that one. And, uh, and that bass kind of adds, adds a lot to it when you're, when you're playing along with it, too. So, okay, so let's go ahead and check this out, the first phrase. Let's just, let's just kind of simplify it and just do that much for right now. And then we'll go and focus on measure one of your tablature. Okay, so you play that low six string, mute it out, just the heel of your hand just right over the cover plate, right there. Okay, now you have your bar and your left hand tilted up on your third string, second fret. And make sure you're in tune there. And you're playing with your index and middle finger on your right hand, you're playing your fourth string and your third string. So you do, and I'll just name the strings. You do that low string twice, then do the second fret, third string, open fourth string, then go back to that sixth string, and then, and then that double stop on your fourth and third string, and then take your bar off for an open, and then you end that measure with two more six strings. So you'll you'll hear this throughout the the song. So there's measure one. Okay, now still with that bar tilted up. Here you go. Here, let me play measure two for you. So you do, you pick your sixth string and third string together, second fret on your third string. And that's with thumb and middle finger. And thumb or middle finger comes up to play the open second string. And then first fret, second string. Open second string, open sixth string. Then go back and play two to zero on your third string with your middle finger. And then play that open fourth string. And that's gonna ring out into the next measure. So there's measure two. So if we put measures one and two together, it sounds like this. And then measure three is pretty easy because it's exactly like measure one. Just let that open fourth string kind of ring out. So I'll put measures one, two, and three together now. Okay, so we've 
Played measures one, two, and three, now measure four. Okay, end of measure, well, I guess that would be the end of measure four there. Okay, so on here, you're playing thumb and middle finger, sixth string, second string, first fret, second string, open first string, first fret, second string, and back to open sixth string. Now you could let that ring out if you wanted to. Okay, so open second string, and open third string, middle of the index, and then you're going to play this fifth fret way up here on your fifth fifth fret, uh, fifth string, and I grab that with my index finger. So it looks like this. Notice how the, the low kind of muted out sixth string kind of fills in the gaps with the melody. So here's the melody. So it goes to there. Now here it is with the bass added into there. Okay, and then in measure five, we have our bar all the way pulled back to just on our sixth and fifth string, fifth fret. <clears throat> and that's just one time with your thumb, and then you're playing thumb and index that double stop, sixth string, fifth string, fifth fret. Rhythmically, it's one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. Notice the bass there on the end of beat two. One, two, and three, and. Okay, so that's basically a C chord there. Now we go to the, my favorite chord in the whole song, the C minor, that I'm grabbing here on my first fret, fifth string, fourth string. Okay, thumb and index, first fret, fifth string, and fourth string, bar pulled back. And then there's the melody with it. So you grab that, that double stop there, first fret, fifth string, fourth string, and then the melody is on your third string, zero, three, for that B flat note. We're in the key of, of G, too. So then I put a B flat in there and works really nice over that C minor chord. To second fret, third string, open third string. And then that E flat note on your first fret, third, fourth string. And then an open fourth string. So once again, let me over, all over that, that's measure six of your tablature over that C minor chord. Do the double stop. That really... That's a C and an E flat note, root and flat third. Open third string, third fret, third string, second fret, open third string, first fret, fourth string, and then open fourth string. Okay, and then you go into the, the bassy part for measures seven and eight. So you go, have your bar tilted up for a third fret on your fifth string. So that rhythm that you played kind of over that C chord on measure five, that same rhythm is going to be applied now to this G chord on your, your three lower strings. So it's bass, which I'm calling, that's the sixth string, and the double stop on your third fret, Fifth string, open fourth string. Okay, there's measure seven. Bass, third fret, bass. Third fret twice, and then bass twice. Still have my, my heel of my hand kind of muting out that sixth string, just to kind of deaden it a little bit. And then in measure eight, we do this walk down. Okay, that's third fret, fifth string, open fourth string. And I'm just playing this with my index and middle finger on my right hand. Third fret, first fret, open, all on my fifth string, fourth string. Okay, and then you're gonna play your sixth string and fourth string, thumb and middle finger, 
on your on your second fret six string okay and then you're going to do this slide from two up to four on your sixth string while letting that open fourth string ring out and then you go back to your second fret sixth string open fourth string and then you end with that open and then that whole thing notice the repeat sign then you'll go right back to um, measure one there so let me go ahead and play measures one through eight here we go one two three four kind of where I put some vibrato on that. Um, let me figure out where it's... There in measure four, when I... That first fret, second string. And then I do let the, that second and third string ring out when I move to that C chord. It sounds kind of nice. Makes it more of a C major seventh sound. That kind of a sound. Now, when I'm on that C chord, I just kind of leave my bar and I kind of slide that down to the C minor chord there, measure five to six. And right there on that se on measure six, that second fret, third string, I do put some vibrato on that too. And then right at the end of measure six, that open fourth string, I let that ring out. Go to that all that low stuff on my lowest three strings on measure seven. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next section. <clears throat> 